Hey guys, just wanted to review uh, Bluehost with you today. Uh, I consider it to be one of the best web hosting companies on the web. They've been around for a long time, uh, which they have a great track record with, with a lot of different websites. And um, they're a great company, so I just wanted to review that with you today. Basically, when you come to the homepage, you'll notice a few things. They've got unlimited domain hosting, unlimited hosting space, unlimited file transfer, unlimited email accounts. They give you a lot of uh, generous, you know, it's, everything's unlimited, so you don't have to worry about going over or uh, getting shut down because you had too much traffic. Um, you get a free domain name when you sign up. They've got a free site builder and some other neat features. Um, One-click installs is probably the the, the most uh, used feature that I use and uh, just diving in real quick uh, 495 a month is just a really great price for hosting you know that comes out to about 60 70 dollars a year um, 695 is what it uh, usually is uh, 495 they've got a special going on they've had this special going on for a little while uh, they probably will continue with the 495 price but you know just come back to the homepage and uh, They'll, they'll update this price accordingly, but the link below in my description will actually have the best price that you can get uh, with Bluehost, so make sure you click that to get the best price uh, available. Now, I did mention the one-click in, uh, script installs, uh, WordPress, Joomla, Drupal, Roundcube. Literally, you can install these with one click of a button. It installs in you know 30 seconds, uh, depending on how fast you can type, really. So um, I'm going to dive into that in a little bit. I use WordPress for all of my websites, um, so I love to have that one-click feature. It saves me a lot of time. You know, WordPress has the the uh, five-minute install, uh, but if you can install it in 20 seconds, I'd rather do that. Um, so that's what I use here. And uh, let's just dive into the cPanel. So I'm going to come over here to the cPanel. This is where all the action happens. If you want to deal with your emails. Uh, if you want to deal with installing WordPress, um, you've got your file manager here so you can log in and add files, upload uh, your domains. Um, so if you wanted to have an add-on domain or manage the domains that are there um, and some other options as well. <coughs> Let's dive into the WordPress site builder. I love this. It's a one-click install. As you see, you've got a few options down here. Um, here's the WordPress option, so we'll just dive into that. Click that. Then on this page, you're simply going to click uh, on the Install button under Install WordPress. Then when you get to this page, you're going to choose the domain name that you'd like to install WordPress on. If your domain name doesn't show up there yet, uh, simply go back to the cPanel and add on the domain um, or configure it, you know, set it up before you can use it. But once it's set up, you select it here from this drop down list. And then you enter a title. Um, let's just say my awesome website. And they've got some neat uh, plugins, a few plugins, uh, a theme here uh, that they are gonna basically instantly install with your WordPress site so if you're kind of at a loss for how do I design my website um, they've got a nice you know small biz theme that you can uh, will be installed and you can use with your website and just click this box here so you've read the terms and conditions of the GPL version 2 license and then hit complete now on the next page you're actually gonna get the details um, the username and the password um, and able to go to the install and log in, change the password for your user, and start building your WordPress website. And again, if you have this theme installed, um, you can go and work with that theme. You can work with some of these plugins. You can start installing your own plugins, but it's really that simple. It's just an easy, quick WordPress install. I'm going to give Bluehost a 10 out of 10. Uh, mainly because all the features that they have, uh, but their customer service is outstanding. Um, I've tried a number of hosting companies. I've tried GoDaddy. I've tried One and One. I've tried Just Host. Um, I've tried HostGator. There's a few others that I've tried that you may not even even heard about. Um, but I've tried the majority of hosting companies. 
one of the things that frustrates me installing WordPress on a GoDaddy install is it takes a you know it takes a couple days to actually get your login, which is I think is ridiculous. It's like they have people manually installing your WordPress install. Um, and the other thing is when you install it, it's it's just really hard to work with. I think GoDaddy, you know, they were built on uh, domain names, and when they added some of these other features, they just they're not really paying attention to it. But Bluehost does a great job of uh, paying attention to every aspect of the services that they offer. And it's only four ninety five a month. Great price. Um, very comparable to um, other hosting companies. In fact, I think it's one of the cheapest, um, if not you know the same amount as another hosting company. But I think they are the cheapest uh, right now, especially with special offers. Um, so take advantage of those while they're there. And especially uh, if you click the link below in the description, you'll obviously get the maximum discount available. Um, so make sure you click that to, you know, all the coupon codes and anything will be entered as you click the link. Thanks for listening to my review of Bluehost hosting services.